It's time. It's time. It's time. Yep. Howdy doody time. No, it's time to make an episode. Joel, it's time to make an episode. How's it going? My name is Daniel. I am one of the Survivor Boys. I am also one of the founders of Survivor Boys, where we teach you how to survive stuff. I uh, also invented self-applied CPR and a black belt in karate and... Uh, graduated summa cum laude from the School of Hard Knocks. Pretty much it. I mean, just, you know, high-end class stuff. I'm Joel. I like crayons. Welcome to Survivor Boys. What we typically do here is we go through all sorts of places, such as desert, tundra, ocean, uh, daycares, uh, youth campouts, inner city shopping malls, you name it, we do it. And essentially what we do is we just teach you how to survive in those types of situations. I'm Daniel, the leader of the group, and I provide the overall awesomeness and uh, wisdom to the show. I'm Joel. There's also one more person in our group that we would like to uh, introduce you to. His name is Camera Guy. And he is our camera guy. So, let's go introduce you to him. This one's wing is broken. Okay, so, this is camera guy's room. And we're gonna go and surprise him. Because we're making an episode I'm, today. I'm be in the video and today. we don't want him. I'm gonna be in and, and we don't want him to run away. Okay, so this is his room. This truly is one of the best explorations of love in the modern age. Camera guy's room, okay? Hey, camera guy, how's it going? Hey, great. What are you guys doing? Uh, well, we're making an episode today, so let's go. We didn't have we didn't have plans to make an episode today. Wait, hold up, it's my day off. I don't know who to look at right now. Wait, what are you? Come on, well, you look going out. Uh, uh, no. Let's go. Let go of me. Let go. Ow. So um, hi, I'm I'm the cameraman. Um. Daniel and Joel told me I had to interview my myself for some reason. Th this is stupid. You're stupid. <sighs> they probably told you my name is Camera Guy. Um, that that's not my name. My my name is actually. No 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 no. Uh, we are the stars. Shut up. I'm which, cool. Which is why I'm on camera right now. Yeah. Um. I I film stuff and edit stuff. My dream was to go farther in the industry, but I can't do that anymore because these two blacklisted me. And I wish I didn't mean that literally, but they actually did accuse me of communism. He voted for Barack Obama. He wants to take our guns away. Anyways. Camera guy, you're here. Hi. You guys have no idea how important camera guy is to our day-to-day -day operations. I mean, he films us in the woods and really captures our essence, and he does all the editing and makes us look crazy awesome. There I said. That I do. Today. Yeah, that's that's great. There's this thing in Hollywood that they refer to as shooting schedules. Yeah, but uh, it's better for the creative juices if you just become you know more spontaneous. Do you mean spontaneous? No, I'm pretty sure I mean spontaneous. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first survival episode of Survivor Boys, where we teach you. How to survive in the coniferous forests. Shrubbery! I'm Daniel. I'm Joel, and I'm an alcoholic. And we, we are, are the Survivor, Survivor Boys. Boys. 
Seriously, I need help. There are many different ways of getting lost in the wilderness. One way is blindfolded on your birthday, thinking that you're going to get a surprise and waking up in the middle of the woods. This is useful information for us because mom and dad have tried to get rid of Joel on three separate birthdays using this method. I always find my way back. I'm like a homing pigeon. So that's our exercise today. Alone, no sense of direction. Most people would lose their cool, but we're not going to. I just killed a bug. It was on my leg. I had to do it. We found a source of water, which is important because water is the most needed thing when you're lost in the wilderness. Mainly because our body is 50% water and the other 50 is sulfur, which explains farts. I guess what I'm trying to say is eventually you're going to have to eat sulfur at some point. But what I'm going to do is show you how to collect and carry water while you're lost. Now, there are thousands upon thousands of different ways to collect and hold the water. One of the ways I'm going to show you is just through basic items that you might have on you while you're lost. So hold on a second. Evil spirits, arise! Now I just happen to have a hat, which is great for scooping. And see what I have in my pocket. I have saran wrap, which is already pre-torn for the sake of the video. And these are great items to help seal your scooper, which is your hat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it in there, make sure it's you got a nice little nest, and then you just kinda scoop up the water. Oh, oh and the saran wrap's floating. And I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but this is incredibly easy to carry. And as you can see, there's about a pint of water in there that I can now use for later. Alternatively, if you don't have any of those items uh, in your pockets, you can actually go chipmunk style, which is what I like to call it, where you simply just drink what you need and then you sip the rest, make a big cheek, and save it for later. Just walk with it. One, two, three. Don't, don't one. touch me. Whatever. <sighs> you are aware that you just drank pond water, right? There was nothing dead in it. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's clean. We saw frogs Ugh. jumping in that. Frogs are edible. Yeah, when you cook them. <sighs> My stomach is 98.3 degrees. That should be enough. So do you feel like you need to go to the hospital? No. The human body repairs itself on its own. Only idiots don't know that. Let's go. Why is this happening to me? Leave me alone! It's because I'm an alcoholic, isn't it? <laughs> um, Daniel? Yeah. Are you, uh, yeah. gonna explain the bike eventually? Oh, right. <sighs> Forgot I had it. Anyways, I have the bike because I saw this one guy on Discovery Channel climb up Mount Everest, and then when he got to the peak, he just used a snowboard to get back down. He cut half the time off the journey, and there's no snow here, so bringing a snowboard would be stupid. Yeah, you know what else isn't here? Mountains. Yeah, but there's a big downhill stretch at the very end. Let's just wait for the lawnmower to die down. Alright, it's probably not going to for a while. Just make sure you edit it out. Sure thing, pal. Right. When people think shelter, they also think fire. In coniferous forests, that could not be more wrong, because fire attracts predators and bugs. 
that like the glowing light. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig a feasting hole where the fire would be. And it would be, you just dig down until you find earthworms. Uh, I don't have time to do that right now. What we're going to do after is we're going to build our shelter over top of it. So that we can just grab some high protein earthworms and just eat them whenever we wake up. That will be a great source of nutrition as we continue forward. Much better than a fire. And after you've taken your little survival nap, the most important thing is obviously to figure out what direction to travel in order to get out, because that's the whole point. And actually, Joel's level of expertise is great in this category, so I'm going to refer you to him on this. So, Joel? You dare speak my name, Joel. I have made men die, yes. Oh, wow, you're kind of crabby. Did you poop yourself? What? Did you poop yourself? You're really crabby. Huh? Whatever, let's go. That car is getting really close. <sighs> Alright, well, since Joel's preoccupied. Oh, that's getting so heavy. Since Joel's preoccupied, I'm going to give you some advice that I know about how to get out. One thing you want to look for is rivers. And then you just follow them the opposite direction of which the river's going. Because what happens is towns flush their toilets and the water runs downhill. So whenever you find a river, you know that you just got to start trekking uphill because that's where you're going to find the town. Mortal! Is this food edible to your kind? Oh, finally, a downhill stretch. Daniel, that's not a downhill stretch. It's pretty downhill. Anyways, the map said home is north, so peace out. That is a caterpillar on my bike! Daniel, that's south. Yeah, we're going to need a search and rescue and um, possibly a, some kind of priest, if you have one. And that's a wrap. Once again, we have defeated the wilderness completely on our own accord and on our own skill, without any help from emergency services or medical staff. Well, at least as far as you guys know. No, I don't like that. You're going to edit that? Sure. Thanks for joining us this week. We hope you'll learn something. And see you next week on Survivor Boys. Why would you carve the turkey in the shower? So it's clean! Survivor boys, survivor boys, does whatever survivor boys do. Climb up a tree, climb down a tree. We're really good at climbing trees. Look out!